Hey y'all, what's up? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? And how is your mind? What is going on with y'all? How y'all feeling? Okay? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay? Y'all, just real shout out, I think, to everybody that watches the videos, um, emails me, DMs me, whatever it is. I appreciate y'all. Um, and lets me know, you know, if this is helping or his relations and all type of stuff. And it's just amazing how God does his work and does, does, does his thing, does his thing, you know? So, y'all, oh, child, you know, I love to make these videos while I'm driving because a lot of times I'm in the car. For the most part, I mean, that in the car or at work. I'm barely at home nowadays. Um, probably was always like that, but you know, of course, we had seasons, you know, during the pandemic that we was at home and we had time to think. And the one thing about being in seclu uh, I'm, I can't even say the word right, so I'm not even gonna try to do that, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to hit y'all with big words, you know. But the one thing about being in seclusion is that there are two things that definitely happens you have the anxiety and the depression where we dwell on the past and we you know focus too much on the, f the future and we we hear those voices sometimes and then we have it where god surrounds us protects us and pulls us out of certain environments and gives us a, 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 re a renewed mind but he doesn't do it forcefully you know what i'm saying you have to ask for this you have to want to you know be a better version of yourself and we were just talking today and i was just like you know it's so crazy because i started to i do the bible ver uh bible app verse thing so sometimes i find plans like i y'all don't think that i just be sitting here doing this all the time like i don't every few months i'll find a new plan or i'll do m multiple plans at a time so that's good if y'all want to learn how to start reading scripture and doing daily devotions and stuff like that that's what i would recommend but um i noticed not not even i noticed but that god whispered so softly like your your prayers are basic like at one point y'all i was praying like it's some moments where I know it's the spirit praying for me because I'll be praying for all types of stuff. This, that, the third, just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like lay it out, lay it down, or whatever. And then it's sometimes we're like, you know, when I go at uh go to sleep at night, my prayers be the same. Like for so long, for so many months, my prayers was the same. Like, I'm like, yeah, pray, you know, same people, blah blah blah, blah, blah all this other stuff. And he was like, Your prayers are basic. And he's like, that's why you're not seeing the change that you want because you're not, you're not, you're not praying like the warrior that you are. You're not praying like, you're praying like as a child. You know, when you're a child, your mother tells you, you know, um, what is it? Lay me down, uh, the, lay me down something I sleep. I pray to the Lord my soul to keep. And if I die before I wait, I pray to the Lord my soul to take something like that. Like, that's how basic my prayers have been for the last few months. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm going through the plan, and then I seen something that popped out. So I'm not like, I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm looking over the stuff, and I'm like, but I knew that. And God was like, I know you know that. That's why I'm bringing it to your attention. You're you're wanting all these things, and you know, you're you're doing some of the work, but your prayers, your prayers, like you already know, actually, you know that your prayers can change a moment in an instant. You already know that you have that faith. Like we we work through that, but your prayers is so basic. They're so childlike. Like, of course, I'm going to watch and bless over your family. But, like, what else? So, now I'm praying. And I'm not really going to tell y'all. I'm not going to share my prayer. But I'm praying for it, y'all. Because I'm just be honest. Like, sometimes you can, too much, you know? But I will say this, y'all. If you're struggling in a certain area in your life, I will be the first to attest to God going to come through for you. He is going to make a way out of nothing okay like that that's god god is not human he's not man he he don't you know what i'm saying like he is the creator of all things things can happen but the one thing about prayer 
that P stands for patience. You need to be patient when you are praying. When you foreign all your troubles and issues to heaven, okay? You need to be patient. The one thing about us humans is we feel and we're entitled and we think that is owed to us to get these prayers right when we say we should get these prayers. We want a, a miracle turnaround in 30 seconds after we say this prayer. We want that knock on the door right then and there. And God is like, no. Because a lot of our prayers, the one thing that I had to realize, a lot of my prayers, they be. I had to get in position to receive it. My heart posture had to change. The way I talk, the way I thought, the way I act, all type of stuff. Because the one thing about us is we could point, we could point to everybody what they need to work on. Oh, you need to work on this. You need to work on that. But you need a mirror. You need a reflection. And that's who the Holy Spirit is. He's a reflector to be able to be like, okay, you think they need to work on that. But how about this? You need to work on this. Do you see this? Do you see how you acting? Do you see how you walking? Do you see how you talking? Do you see how you have a bad attitude? Do you see where your mood changes and switches out of nowhere? Do you see how you short fuse? Oh, you thought short fuse meant because you're not spazzing off on everybody, but you short fuse because as soon as something don't go your way, you shut down. You feel me? You shut down. Oh, okay. Oh, you thought you didn't you 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 didn't talk to people back, but um as soon as you turn your as soon as they turn their back, as soon as you get home, you you cursing them left to right. And it's it's a lot of uh, where our mindset and our heart posture is, and God has just been saying stuff to me because like the one thing about us, we be thinking God ain't speaking to us. He is speaking to us. You just choosing not to listen. You're not listening. You're not listening because that that moment in your in your subconscious mind where it's like, no, actually you shouldn't do that, or actually why did you say that, or why did you say that about her or about him and all this other stuff. And trust and believe, I'm still working on this, y'all. I tell you this all the time, and I'ma keep saying this. This ain't something. I'm not perfect by any means necessary. There's always something that God's bringing me through, brought me through, and getting ready to do. You feel know I me? Mean? Like. And it, it, he just tells me, talk, talk, talk to the people, like talk to our people because they need it. They need to be able to read like they know it. They heard it, but they need to be able to hear it again. And sometimes and that's what people is. And I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, me being in this position at my workplace has really allowed me to realize, like, I promise you, every time something crazy happens, I'm like, God, dang, like, I don't like I'm just so thankful that God is who he is, because if I was God, I mean. I'd be like, start over, start over, start over. Why? Because we want things to be aligned in the way we think that they should be. We want people to act the way we feel like they should act. We want people to move how they, but we feel like they should move. You get what I'm saying? And when they don't, we get frustrated. We be easily angered, all type of stuff. And we got to get out of that, y'all. We got to snap out of that. You are better than that. God has called you better to do that. And once you start to allow God to do what he's going to do, it'll be easier. It'll be so much easier. But your prayers, your prayers, a lot of times if you're not seeing a breakthrough, and remember, sometimes that breakthrough, baby, it's not going to be all... I don't know if I'm, I don't know why that this just popped in my head, right? But when I used to think about heaven, right? I used to, my biggest thing at that time, when my grandmother would tell me about heaven and all this other stuff, I would be thinking about, um, I, I guess the, I think it was the Philadelphia cream cheese commercial that was out. And it was like big clouds, like they were supposed to be in heaven and all this other stuff. I was addicted to cream cheese. I have a problem with cheese i'm praying on i tell you that i'm praying on the delivery away from cheese because i've been addicted to cheese since i was six and i really feel like that's that's a real big problem um and i would think that heaven was like some big big cheese but the thing about it, a breakthrough is it doesn't look like how you think it's gonna look that junk is gonna hurt it's gonna feel like something is dying inside of you but because it is something is breaking off on you something needs to come out of you the way that thought that way that that way your mindset was um thinking it was it was a fantasy it wasn't reality it wasn't what god had called you to be so it feels like 
something is pulling off of you and dying and you feel like everything is chaotic and why can't i just have a moment of peace but the peace is actually in the storm the peace is knowing that you don't have control that somebody else that loves you that somebody that knows you and knows who you were called to be has just navigating you he's navigating you and allow him to do that like the problem is we think that we're supposed to get ready to go to god and we got to do this we got to do that and oh you don't want to release control off of whatever and okay well I, um i'm 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 making too many mistakes god don't want me like that's a lie the enemy lied to you baby the enemy lied to you when he started off as a, a young child because humans don't have the right way of, and the proper definition of how to love we don't reciprocate the way that god has shown us or the way god is trying to show us how to love we don't reciprocate that right so what happens is we get discouraged as children and then now god don't love me god loves you that's a lie god loves you he loves you he sees everything he knows everything and he still loves you and he wants you to come home he wants you to be a part of the kingdom he wants you to fulfill your purpose because a lot of people is unhappy and it's because they're not working in a purpose i say this in a lot of videos and i say that because i'm speaking from experience i was not happy like yeah people on the outside thought i was happy oh look she has a nice she's living a nice uh lifestyle and all this other stuff and in my head i'm like do you know what i suffered to get to this you know what i'm saying like i had to push myself it was days where i'm crying i'm breaking down like alcoholism is so strong in my family and i'm sitting here praying and praying and praying and then i fall into that you know what i'm saying it's so much stuff that people go through that people don't witness and you never know but we so focus on material things and we're not worried about what is feeding our spirit you got to be able to feed your spirit and that's why a lot of people ain't at peace okay and that's why i said peace through the, is in the storm because once you're fulfilling your spirit and you know that you have you, i don't got control that's all right though but i know he gonna do what he did like he did last time oh he did it from none i know he gonna do it for me a lot of us are so jealous so envious so broken and so miserable all type of stuff that all we do is complain and we don't see the greater picture oh i know he did i know he did good i know he did this for me but why is you complaining why are you still worry you so much in a rush and so much trying to get to the next the next position that you missing the opportunities and the things that you're supposed to learn in this so then when you get to the next you're not going to be repeating the same thing over and over and over testing is one thing but it's a lot of us that's repeating the same thing over because of us not because of god because we won't learn it god is gonna bless if y'all know about abraham and sarah abraham and sarah and i think i talked about this in another video i'm not i can't remember so many videos but abraham abraham and sarah was promised to have a child they was old as heck abraham was like yo i don't even think my thing like like mm -mm, i don't think it's i think it's shooting blanks god sarah like uh -huh. Now that this old age, I don't even, my eggs ain't even in no more. I think you took my eggs. They like a hundred years old. When they get their, 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 their promise. When they get their promise, they're a hundred years old. When they, when God told them about this, about 20, about like two decades before that happened, you know what I'm saying? And they got impatient and they tried to take things up on their own. So I was like, yes, uh, you can have my maid, my servant. What? Y'all, y'all gotta read the Bible. The Bible be like, oh, I don't want to read the Bible because, um, yeah, they try to use it for uh to enslave us. No, they did not. You know what they did? They use. We're not educated. So what do you do when you're not educated? Anybody can tell you anything. Anybody can make you do anything. You can be influenced by everything because you're not educated. That's what they use to slave us. Not the Bible. Now, there's things that's taken out the Bible. They revamp everything. They change the, the language and all type of stuff. There's like a hundred and something languages in the world, okay? Like, we're not going to know everything. Like, we're... I just hate when people use excuses about not reading the Bible. But, y'all thank y'all so much for listening and watching we're gonna get into it in the weeks to come but god just put that on my spirit today and i wanted to tell y'all so y'all have a blessed week go out there kill it make your prayers stronger stop praying those little basic prayers okay all right love y'all